right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part to get this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. to a man, to a woman. They want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world and the home to the biggest UFC fights right now. From International Fight Week to championship fights all across the board from the T-Mobile. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Working off the jab, it's good. Oh, nice counter jab there. He's got to move his head. These boys are going at it. Oh, big left. Oh, nice kick. Oh, my goodness. Certainly found the target. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab them. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Got that jab working, nicely done. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Lands with the lead right hand. Nice kick, yep. Fighter lands a left. There. 
So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Oh, he caught a nasty cut on his lip. That one bears watching. And that spinning kick found its home up top. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. And that was a solid kick. Looking for the takedown, he gets it. And he is back up to his feet. Looking to land the leg kick now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? to go. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Establishing the jab. Back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Nice side kick. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Just out of range with that left hook. Final seconds here of round one. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the exact strike that caused that cut to his lip. He landed a beautiful shot that cut him on the lip. Now, listen, guys. As long as it ain't like Jarzinho rolls a strike and Alistair over oh. him, you're fine. Cuts on the lip are okay, unless your lip is hanging off like we have seen sometimes. That is not that, but he's got to protect it. I got Robbie Lawler on line one, by the way. Oh, yeah. Talk I remember Robbie. Lip cuts. Oh, my God. I was thinking about that. I couldn't remember who it was. Though. All right. Next round is upon us. Let's see how it plays out. Right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes. It wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Well, he's doing a nice job here, blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Doing work with the jab there. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Check the high kick. Lands a big elbow there. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh. Now you see 
some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing. Just out of range with that uppercut. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Ninety seconds now in round two. Low kick lands flush. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, big old. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, nice takedown defense. Under a minute now to go in this one. Lands a good series of kicks here. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. Great job finding an opening and landing a beautiful punch from the clinch. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was Ready a bit lax in the defense, Ready. and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Round three of a possible five. All right, so back to back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the story. This is what happens. Very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it on this next one. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, as we pull up the numbers at the bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. That's pretty fast, Jack. Oh, 
he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, switch kick. Three minutes to go in round three. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, man, another nice leg kick is there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, looks like he's got a cut above the eye here. Great block there. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Beautiful right hand over the top. Well, it's all pace and pressure. Oh! Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Quick jab lands there. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the octagon. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to him right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one who caused all the action. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And that is not the danger in the engagement there. One minute now to go in the third. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Just missed with the left there. Oh, roundhouse kick. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, Somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. in the body with the kick there. Beautiful little hook. Oh, 
quick jab. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take. These. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. He has been thoroughly beaten to the body this fight. Oh! He got him hurt bad here. Well, wisely, he continues to strike right on that cut. And the blood, I think, is becoming a real factor now. Yeah, the blood is becoming a factor. Because now, you start to worry about the blood going into the, the, blood going into the eyes. You just got to worry about the entirety of the face being covered from the cut. It, it, it's going to be hard for him to get through this. Just over three minutes now to go. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Just missed with the leg kick. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Unable to connect there. Nice jab. Oh, misses with the jab. Two minutes to go. Oh, and he connects there. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. And he started to, John. You know, he's tired too. I know he goes hard. He doesn't hurt again. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Back to the feet now. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me. Oh, big knee. a big check. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Under a minute to go in round four. Block that punch. Take takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. Making all these shots count. All right, full guard now, DC. And put a guy on top. He needs to build posture, or... Just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities. Oh! 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 Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it, because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. <laughs> Sets up that leg kick beautifully. He does everything. Oh! Trying to 
establish that jab once again. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. So now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Able to block that one. Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor it. And, John, many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. jab there. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him here. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. Come on, guys, come when you're on. in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final bell. Big power shot there. is going after that overhand right. Lands a jab. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. 